Okay, this video will show you how to find a minimum sample size. Okay, there's about three different types of problems you'll see. I'll go over the first one, and then we'll do all three types. And the one spreadsheet will calculate all three different types for you. The first type is if the, if the standard deviation is given. If the standard deviation is given, you use this part of the spreadsheet right here. Okay, so the margin of error is... Uh, within five dollars when they say within five dollars within whatever that's the margin of error so the margin of error is five the confidence level is 90 percent so you change that to 0.9 always change it from decimal to, or percentage to decimal and the standard deviation is 35.2 okay so <clears throat> remember always round up okay even though this is 134 just over 134 and minimum sample sizes you always round up so I'm going to pause and come back with the second type of problem you'll see. Okay, this one, the standard deviation is not given. So all you need to do is go right in here, all right? And no preliminary, preliminary proportion is given either, and I'll explain that in the next one. So uh, if no preliminary proportion is given and no standard deviation is given, all you do is input these two values right here. So input the margin of error is 0 0.01, remember 1% 1 is 0 0.01, confidence level 0 0.9, and you get 67.63, round up 67.64. That's it. Okay, the third and final type of minimum sample size uh, problem you will find is when they give you a preliminary, what we would call a preliminary population proportion. So when they say based on previous evidence, you believe that the Population proportion is approximately 0.73. That's your preliminary uh, proportion. So you would still put in your margin of error here, 0.05 in this problem, okay? You would still put in the confidence level just as we did before, 0.96. However, you need to come down here, ignore this number. This is not your answer. Ignore that number. You need to put in your preliminary proportion right here, which is 0 0.73 and go down here for your answer. And again, we're always gonna round up to 333, and that's it.